morning everybody do you enjoy playing video games do you like it when the games you buy cost more than 60 dollars when they come out on release day and the game is complete garbage yeah don't answer that question remember overwatch 2 on release day is suffered from server issues ddos attacks which i do not believe ever happened literally on release day come on now that was just an excuse to save face the game was delayed so many times no single player story mode that got cancelled something that was promised only three new characters at launch and one of one of which was locked behind a battle pass even though the game was free to play quotation marks the server issues on release day were never addressed the developers should have known that a large number of players wanted to play their game and i was a part of that i have never experienced a worse gameplay launch since battlefield 2024 and yeah well let's get into that shall we This is simply a compilation video highlighting the game's numerous bugs and glitches. I'm just giving you a visual, visual representation of how much bullshit developers put in their games, and they like it. So this is from the release day of Battlefield 2024, and some of the bugs that were prevalent in the game, and I'm sure there are bugs and stuff prevalent in the game now. Enjoy the clip. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't play video games that lie to me, you know? I mean, I just don't. I just don't participate in that. I don't believe in it. I think it's wrong, you know? What the fuck is this game?! This is open paid beta, yes, you are correct. Now that's just a clip of glitches that I'm sure you have encountered while playing this game now. I've heard that Battle 20, 2024 will be available for free to play soon. Now, by the time you watch this video, and I have not played this game since the release day, and I was retarded enough to buy the deluxe edition. Yeah, I know. I swear DICE and EA, a billion dollar company that produces terrible games, should have their jaws removed. And I'm not talking about the small developers because I don't think they want their games to be created like this. I hope not. But these greedy publishers want a specific game to be released during their marketing quarters in order to please investors. And yes, impeding deadlines and publisher demands for games to be released at specific times may impede the development process. But to be honest, I don't understand why we as gamers now have to play big budget games that cost $70? At least popular games these days, some of them the most bug glitches and so on. What if a publisher can just ask a game industry studio, hey, how long will it take to develop this game and get it to work? Now, sometimes it's just bad management, which is true, but in general, most games now have serious hardware and from both current gen and console souls that game is advancing you can't have a fully functional game on day one is that too hard <coughs> oh and don't forget certain games that can't run at 60 frames per second i believe that is rare from big triple a game i'm really tired of this i have another example do you remember the game called cyberpunk and how that game was so hyped for a long ass time on release day it was one of the buggiest glitches disaster everybody complained about it and not only it took cd project right months to repair the bug so first impressions matter and we as people see that from watching youtube videos and live streams it just leaves a sour taste in our mouths and even from a studio that made the richer series now i'm going to show you a compilation videos of some recent glitches from the game enjoy What? <laughs> what the fuck is that bug? What is 
Sidewalk with your guts, but that wouldn't get me what I'm old. Oh, you wanna try? Go on, son. Save me. This is what I'm saying, right? Why us playing people of video games have to deal with this shit like this? Now, that's not every game, obviously, but there are some popular games out there that that's the case, which inspired me to make this video, to be honest. Now, if you're watching this video, do you have a solution to this issue or something that I said that you disagree with? Please let me know down in the comments. But hey, Elden Ring DLC is coming out soon. I've been getting back into that game and I've been playing it pretty recently. And I just want to throw it in there because it's a really good game. Now, <laughs> I wanted to rant about this because that just it just really pissed me off and i don't think no one nobody else was talking about like how games in general are just really pieces of shit that need to be called out at least the gaming studios and the publishing companies as a whole but anywho hopefully you enjoyed this video this is prime excellence peace